Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. While working with machine learning projects or general Python data processing projects, you often need to kind of understand the CSV data, the source data in the first place. So you have, for example, the CSV with thousands of rows and you need to understand the summary. How many columns, what are different values, how many empty rows and just general overview. And quite often people in tutorials especially perform various operations with pandas data frame or matplotlib library or seaborn library to show various graphs and charts and tables for the over. In this video I will show you a python library, a package that will do that for you in just one line of code. Presenting to you why data profiling, which will generate you an html file which you then open separately and browse like this in how their homepage shows exactly. So to install that, of course, you need to do pip install as usual. And the result is this. This is my Jupyter notebook reading the same CSV that I've shown you just a second ago. And all we need to do is import white data profiling and launch profile report with data frame as a parameter. And we'll output that to HTML. The result with some warnings because some of those columns may be not recognized, not formatted properly or something like that. So read all the warnings if you do have them. But in the end, it's summarized, created the report, rendered HTML and exported to file. Now, if we open that HTML file, this is how it looks. So number of variables 13, number of features of columns. And then you can check the values of columns separately, for example, male, female, age, occupation, and others. Then after columns, we have interactions, for example, age and quality of sleep. So it may give you some ideas on the dependencies of columns on each other. Then missing values, how many values? So one value for majority of the columns and then sample first rows and last rows. And I'm pretty sure it can be customizable with more parameters and graphs and features. Just read the documentation. Again, there are features. For example, let's take a look at customized reports. Of course, you can change the theme. For example, you may be presenting that HTML file, send that to someone by email. So you can make it even more like on brand of your company, so to speak. I will link that tool in the description below. So you may read the docs and customize your reports however you want. But this is probably the easiest way I found to get the overview of the data frame without running matplotlib, seaborn or other libraries. Of course, for some custom graphs and functionalities, you would not avoid those libraries and writing some custom code. But for general overview, in most cases, why data profiling will be totally enough. If you want more tips about tools like this one and other tricks around Python, data processing and machine learning, subscribe to the channel. I will keep shooting daily videos with recommendations. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.